So we at Fujifilm are still investing very heavily in workflow. Um, this is still a very key component to our overall solutions. We're talking about the, the, the printing technology, but the process of taking in work from clients, getting it through the system and getting that ink on paper is, is, is a fundamental part of the process. So IPEX is going to be our launch of XMF version 3. So this will be the first time the product will be shown in public, and it really is the third generation now of our XMF workflow. Um, and I'll take you through some of the highlights that, um, that, that can be seen in, in version 3. The first one is support for, for web printing, for web presses. So web printing is, is quite different from a workflow perspective in terms of commercial print. The configurations of the web presses are far more complex. You need to have support for inline finishing, uh, and this all needs to be managed with the way the imposition is actually created and, and used in the system. So we're adding in a lot more capabilities within the product to handle imposition for, for web printing. We've also added in a new job builder, a new user interface to the product. For commercial printers who are doing quite varied work, um, they need to see a representation, the users of, of the system need to see a, a very good representation of what's been printed because jobs can be different job to job. For web printing, what's most important is actually the pages. So in terms of going into web presses, you're into high pagination. So I need to know which pages I do have, which I don't have, which are still waiting for approval. This becomes the focus of actually the production um, in, in, in that type of environment. So we're now we're catering for both in XMF. We still retain the way that we've worked in the past with, um, with, with commercial printers, but we're also moving into, into web production as well. The 3D proofing in XMF um, has gone through a complete redesign. The 3D proof in terms of what you see still very much is the same, you, 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 you work your way through the pages, turning pages, but what you're seeing now is a 3D, in the 3D rendering, is Adobe's PDF print engine rendered images on, on, on the proof. It's also working from the JDF, the imposition within production. So it's taken the real production data, it's, and it's working using the same rip as what you'd see when you actually get ink onto, on, onto paper in the 3D model. So it's giving you the most accurate representation of the printed product without actually having to go to print. In terms of color management, the, the, the most significant uh, thing that's been added is support for device ICC profiles. We are also, at the same time, of, of releasing uh, XMF version 3, or up to version 5 of our XMF remote product. So XMF remote is a product which provides the, uh, the, 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 the printer to give his clients the way to provide online submission of jobs, to review the jobs that are in progress, and to also uh, approve and give final sign-off for those jobs. The 3D proofing I mentioned is also what um, the, the printer's clients will have access to through this system. And this whole process is, can, be, can be fully automated. You can get to a point where a customer signs off the final page of a job, and that automatically kicks off production inside the printer's company. So all of this brought together is really um, our way of trying to bring some, some efficiency to, to, to our customers to make that process of taking in work and, and getting it onto the whatever printing process is used as efficient and as quick and as automated as possible. Um, I think we've achieved that so far with XMF, but with version 3, we intend to take that um, a stage further.